Time for News Extra here on KNEB and News Extra brought to you by First State Bank, Scott's Bluff and Garing. And here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Deb Carlson is here from the Scott's Bluff Lead Public Library. Number of uh, big things going on this fall, so we thought we'd have her come in. And uh, one of the first things we're going to talk about, probably until the break here, is uh, preschool story time. Now, this is near and dear to Deb's heart because you kind of started this whole thing, (laughs) right? And uh, so so tell people what that's all about. Well, Preschool Storytime is held from September through May. Um, It's on Thursdays at 10 to 10.30 in the morning and 6.15 to 6.45 Thursday evenings. Um, We kind of say it's for two to six-year-olds roughly, but basically what we want the parents to determine um, the age of, you know, readiness for their child. It's just a great time to come. We obviously have wonderful stories and literature, puppetry, flannel boards. It's just a great 30 minutes of uh, literature literature and books and activities for the kids all right very good and uh you encourage parents to check out books before or after story time of their kids uh because it's uh just so important that they uh read aloud to their kids oh, uh, yes. while they while they're growing up at that age just right? cannot stress that enough um statistics bear it out over and over i was saying i had just read recently in school library journal that children um the statistics are showing that they do 20 percent better um in school and starting kindergarten if they've been read to by you know parents or adults uh prior to then so it's a staggering stat plus it's it's a great time to bond and just relax and kind of unwind yeah that's right so uh it's great for kids again uh two to six there's um, books and puppetry and music, flannel board, storytelling, whatever. You have Foxy Tales is a deal this week, but this, right. but it's something different every week. Oh, right? yes. Next week we're going to be diving into books with lots of things having to do with ocean creatures. So there's always a different theme, and, and we just change it up a lot because I love it a lot. <laughs> All right. Preschool story time, great educational uh, social interaction experience. Maybe your kid's first social interaction experience, really. That's right. And uh, especially if they're around the two-year-old area. So um, make sure you kind of mark that down. Maybe try to get to to this as many times as you can if you have a a young one this age. 10 to 10.30 a.m., 6.15 to 6.45 p.m. Every Thursday it runs all the way into May, right? That's right, exactly. All right, very good. We'll talk more about stuff going on at the library right after this. Now you can go paperless with e-statements. You save space as there's no need to file papers at your home or office. Go paperless. Make the change to e-statements. It's convenient and it's good for the environment. Think small. Bank smart. Go paperless. First State Bank. Member FDIC. We're big on you. We're just a small town community bank, but we're big on you. back on News Extra today. Deb Carlson is here from the Leeds Scotts Bluff Public Library. We're talking about a number of things going on this fall. Don't forget about uh, preschool story time over at the uh, library every Thursday, 10 to 10.30 a.m., 6.15 to 6.45 p.m. for those young ones prior to kindergarten age. Then they also have a, you have a Lego club that you're going to have uh, starting on on Monday, right? Right. Um, it's every uh, month, the last Monday of the, the uh, month, and it's from 6 to 7 in our library meeting room. We just pour out piles and piles of Legos and turn the kids loose to build. We always give them a theme, and then we draw for a free Lego set or two at the end. It's just a, a great time. Yeah, this is not only for boys, but girls. You have a lot of girls that go to this, right? Oh, yes, yes. And I think sometimes the parents have as much fun building as the kids do. So it's a great time, something we've just uh, loved a lot. Yeah, and they have good participation at this. There's a lot of kids at this, and uh, uh, each week it's a new theme. Uh, This time you're going to be building uh, cars and that type of stuff, right? Right, start your engines, because the two sets we're giving away um, next Monday night are car related so that's our theme (laughs) all right once again that's uh this coming monday night 6 to 7 p.m at the library then you have your tech 
Tuesday coming up also this coming Tuesday. Right. Uh, the technology classes basically for adults held monthly are always on different topics. Uh, Basic Computers 101 is the one that will be next Tuesday. It's going to be from 11 to noon in our meeting room. Because of the limited number of computers that we have, uh, 20 is the enrollment that we can take. So we would ask people who would like to attend to um, call the library at 630-6250 or drop by the library to sign up. All right. Very good. Limited to 20 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, next Tuesday, September 27th, 11 a.m. to noon in the meeting room just uh, to kind of learn basic computer skills. And then uh, you have the Friends of the Library book sale. We we're going to mention this here briefly. We're going to do a little bit more of it uh, later on next month with uh, some folks from the Library Foundation. But this is uh, the big fundraiser next month. It, yes, it's the Friends of the Library um, annual fundraiser, October 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. It is at the Hampton Inn because our meeting room just can't hold all the books. And it's going to be a wonderful sale this year. We've got some just a huge collection and uh, just a lot of wonderful books and videos and audios and all kinds of things. So we urge people to come out for it all right if you're a friends member you get a little bit of a head start on it on friday evening that's right then you have uh, the big sales on saturday and sunday sunday you can uh, from one to three if for a dollar you can uh, get a whole bag of books if you want right so stock up (laughs) all right very good and the other thing is uh shirley flax bringing in a bunch of books yes 21 boxes of her own collection and believe me she's got a marvelous collection so uh we're pretty excited it'll be a a great sale all right very good we'll uh talk about that a little bit more as it gets closer in uh late october october 21st 22nd and 23rd so you guys very busy i uh, you were saying abby's last day was uh yesterday that's right we're so you kind of miss her a little bit gonna miss her a great deal we we're so excited for her future but boy she's brought us a long way in four years we're and thrilled she's done a good job and uh, she's heading off to broomfield and they're taking applications for those that are uh, interested in the job now to take abby yellman's place as the new librarian over at the lead scotts bluff public library so I know you and others are kind of uh, taking over here and uh, assuming some of Abby's duties until we get somebody else. Judy in. Altman's and I are interim directing, and we'll hold the fort down. We've got great staff. We'll be fine, but but we're we're looking forward to the future here. All right, very good. Deb Carlson from the Lead Scotts Bluff Public Library. Make sure you uh, uh, look at their website, visit them, and look and see what kind of things that are going on at the library every month. Right, like us on Facebook, too. (laughs) All right, very good. Thanks. Thank you for having me. It's panic time. The boss just asked you when that new building will be completed.